Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. So if you're looking to learn Photoshop, this is the channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button so you can join the family of learners. Today, it's all about cartoon curry culture. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is pick our lasso tool and we want to cut out the head of our subject like this and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the right layer. I'm going to right click and cut that layer. So now you see that the head is on a separate layer. Now we want to make this big so I'm going to select my move tool and we're going to go ahead and scale a subject like that. And I'm going to set her in place like so. Now the problem is this portion is way out of proportion from her body. So to fix it, we're going to use the liquidifier to be able to warp our subject and move her back in position to match her body. So to do that, you want to go to filter and you want to choose liquidify. Now once you once the window opens, you want to make sure that you choose your forward warp tool. And now we just want to go ahead and basically we sort of go into massage and put things in place. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and also enlarge the eyes and nose and mouth and all of that. So if you're on the newer version of Photoshop, these features are made available to you. If not, you will have to manually use the warp tool to enlarge things. But since we have this default, I'm going to go ahead and increase the eye size and I'm making this all extreme. So I'm taking all of this to 100% and that is just has to do with the eyes and then the eye distance I'm going to do the same thing and when it comes to the nose I might reduce it a little and then the forehead I'm going to increase it a little and then the chin we're going to take the chin in make it smaller and the jaw we're going to make that also smaller and then the face, instead of making it wide, we're going to make it thin like that. And I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So we're going to go ahead and add a layer max to our layer. Pick our brush tool. We want to make sure our foreground is white. And I'm going to increase my brush head. And we're just going to brush this area to just blend this in to our subject to the background. I'm just going to go ahead and just clean up this area a little and you don't have to do a perfect job blending it in because once we do the cartoon effect it basically hides the imperfection. So what we're going to do is we want to match the two pieces of our subject. So hold down shift, select the second piece and convert to a smart object. So that is one piece and we have the background. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of our subject. So I'm going to press Command J and make two more copies and I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So now that I have this, I'm going to go ahead and click on my subject and we are going to apply the first filter. So I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to choose sharpen, smart sharpen and you want your amount 200, radius 1.5, and noise, you want it at zero. Go ahead and click OK. You don't see a lot of change, but as we apply the oil paint, you begin to see a transformation. So we're going to go back to filter, and we are going to choose sterilize oil paint. And we want to keep the sterilization to 5. Everything else will be 3.1, detail 0. Make sure that your lightning is on check and click OK. Now we are beginning to see something. So we're going to go back to filter and we are going to choose gallery filter. 
and you want to go and look for poster edge under your artistic and you want to make sure that your edge thickness is zero edge intensity zero posterization is two and you want to click OK. So far, so good. Now we want to blur our image. So we're going to go to filter, blur, and we are going to choose surface blur. And you want your radius to be 15, threshold 7. Go ahead and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is go back and apply the oil paint. So go to filter, sterilization, oil paint, and we want to go ahead and leave everything as is, and we are going to click OK. So with this set, we want to go back to filter, sharpen, and we are going to choose on sharpen max. And we want our amount to be 140, radius at 5, threshold at 2. Go ahead and click OK. So our cartoon-ish image is coming together very nicely. So with this set for us, the next thing is that we want to go ahead and click on the other image and turn it on. And we are going to go to filter and filter gallery. And this time we want to change, we want to apply the poster edge, but we want to change the arch attribute to four and another four and six and we're going to go ahead and click ok and we want to add an oil paint effect so go to filter sterilize oil paint and this time we want to keep our sterilization at 10 and 3 1 and 0 and we're going to go ahead and click ok now we want to change the blend mode of this to overlay. I'm already liking this and we want to take the opacity down. So we're going to decrease the opacity. We're going to take it to about 30%. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to duplicate this layer, command J. Duplicate this layer. Now take this blend mode to pin light. So once we have it at pin light, we want to double click on our filter and we want to click on OK. Now it brings back up the filter gallery and we want to change our attribute from 4 to 6 and 7, 6. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And with that, we are going to go ahead and increase the opacity a little to about a 50 and this is looking really nice. So we're going to click on our image, go to filter, choose other and high pass. Now we want our high pass to be 1.5. Go ahead and click OK and we want to change the blend mode of this to overlay. Now, if you have another image that you would like to convert into a cartoon, you can also bring that in and just apply the effects without having to go through the whole step. So to do that, you have to go to your first image that you applied all the first filters to double click on the thumbnail it will open it in in a different window now go look for the image that you want to bring in so let's say you want to use this image so we're going to drag this image and drop it here i'm going to go ahead and scale it down and maybe scale it down like this i'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and i'm going to just quickly use my quick action to take off the background now if you want to cut up the head and make it a little bit bigger so i forwarded this step since we've already done it i use the liquify tool to create my curry cutter so once you're satisfied with the look that you want all you need to do is save it and once you save it 
and you go back to the original, you realize that it's been transformed for you. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.